You doing okay there, bruh? Marvel loves the outside. She's always staring out the window and trying to escape out the front door. When it's warm, we'll put her in her carrier and sit out in the balcony with her, and she loves that. She runs right into her carrier. Vest and leash training and walking your cat isn't right for every cat, but we thought it might be good for Marvel. In the beginning, it was seen as a toy, just like everything else is, but we've gotten to the point where you can get her into it with just coercing her with a couple treats. You can see she's already so much more cooperative in this video compared to the clicker training video. That was filmed about two weeks ago, so even in that time, she's gotten more comfortable. If we leave her in the vest, she just hangs around in different places and doesn't move much. The first couple times we put her in the vest, she'd just be frozen or flop over. So being able to walk around now is a big improvement. I try and play with her in the vest so that it gets her to move around more. You can check out her playtime video to see how she plays without the vest so that you can compare. She stalks the toy for about two minutes before she even comes up to it. And even then, she just stares at it. After a while, I just give her the toy so that she doesn't get too frustrated. You can see how little effort she puts into it with the vest on. I moved to the playmat to see if she would do any better here. Still a similar low effort. She does get up a few times on the mat. This was all filmed in one day. So you can see how she's getting more comfortable with the vest even within the one session. When she gets into the zone, sometimes she forgets she even has the vest on. Now that she's had a taste of the toy, she doesn't want to let it go anymore. Once we played for a few minutes, I decided it was time for the leash. This is our second time trying the leash, so she still sees it as a toy. Her vest has two rings to clip it through, so the first time I only got one ring, so I had to grab her again to get the other one. You can see how she really doesn't like it yet, and mostly just wants to play with it. I try and gently get it out of her mouth and behind her so that she can't see it. This takes a few tries, because every time she sees it in her peripheral vision or remembers that it's there, she immediately starts trying to attack it again. Once she has calmed down, I just stand there with her so that she can get used to the feeling of it on her back. She doesn't really move around in it much yet. If she does move a little, she remembers the leash and starts chewing on it again. After a couple minutes, we were able to find a position where she was being pretty chill. Her pissy tail is really going, so you can see that she does not like this. I just stood there with her for a few minutes before I took the leash off. Getting the leash off was pretty easy, but by that time she was so irritated that she resisted getting the vest off. She did not want to be touched anymore. Seeing how much better she's gotten with the vest and how that progressed gives me hope that the same will happen with the leash, and maybe by summertime we can let her go on walks. Thanks so much for watching! Remember to subscribe if you'd like to see some walking videos in the future.